Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and some breaking news out of the box camp. Three players have officially been released from um, Nelspreet and from the box and to go and join their URC sides ahead of this weekend, which will see the South African sides begin their URC campaigns uh, after missing the first weekend where their matches have been sort of postponed to 2025. The uh, South African sides will enter the fray. This weekend, it is Lions versus Ulster on Saturday at about 1 o'clock. Bulls versus the Edinburgh at 3 o'clock. Your Connacht versus Sharks at half past 8. At the same time, Osprey is taking on the Stormers. And uh, three players have been released back to the Union to give it a game time and to add to the URC squads. Um, and it's it's an interesting one, you know, because it sounds like they, you know, the Bok management, for example, wanted to have them involved uh, in terms of lifting a trophy, being part of the celebrations, being part of the event of winning the rugby championship, which all these three players have played a role in over the, the season. But I think a call for made coming from the sides, and those two sides being the Stormers and the Bulls. Very interesting to see how, for example, uh, these players managed to get to the teams and get sort of a line. So uh, if you look at it, the three players are Ben Jason Dixon, Johan Krabbelar, and Kanan Moody. Kanan Moody not involved last weekend. The other two were. Uh, somebody who hasn't been involved a lot. Some people are complaining about the fact that he's not been playing enough. But to be fair, I think it's quite difficult to find sort of game time in and amongst, you know, Chesham, Colby, Kirk, Lawrence, and Maxwell, and Pimpy. He's also coming back from injury, for example. But, yeah, so in terms of uh, Ben Jason Dixon, he's going to have to try and get over to Wales by Saturday. So, yeah, I imagine he'll fly out tonight, probably do a direct to London, and in theory, will probably then get up to... Uh, a flight or bus or train to Wales. So he should be able to link up with the squad by sort of tomorrow, I'd imagine, to, to train on Captain's Run on Friday and be hopefully be ready for him to, to feature in Saturday. It'll be interesting to see whether he's named in the starting lineup or whether he will be on the bench. But a key, key player for the Stormers, one of their best players last season, and hence the sort of the Springbok call-up. And whilst he might not have actually hit the ground running, maybe he hasn't amazed just yet in a box jersey, a very, very important player for John Dobson. The other two players... Kenan Moody and Jan Kobla, well, they are in Pretoria this weekend. So uh, a quick bus from Imbombela and they will be back with the Bulls for tomorrow, Friday, and will be ready to face Edinburgh in their season opener on Saturday at 3 o'clock. And yeah, especially Kenan Moody, for example, hasn't played the last couple of weeks. Jan Kobla coming, uh, also didn't play last weekend. So both those players, yeah, very much in need in, in ga of game time. Uh, so Rusty Rasmus basically said um, that there was sufficient cover for those two and uh, said as follows. He said, uh, It would have been great for the players to remain with us and attend Saturday's game in Nelspreet after their contributions to our Castle Lager Rugby Championship campaign. And it would have been special for them if we took the necessary boxes to win the tournament. But it's important to do our bit to assist the domestic franchises in their Vodacom URC campaigns. They have big games lined up and every point in the competition counts. So we have no doubt the players will add immense value to their teams. Uh, I think they will, you know, uh, in terms of uh, the Bulls, for example, no Jan Krabbelon, no Jan Andrew Vessels at the moment. So they'll just have Akifana Merva when it comes to the hooker stocks. We would have just had Akifana Merva and would have to go to the youngsters. And so now they can add a Jan Krabbelon into the mix. Kayla Moody, for example, is uh, going to go into the mix where they're going to be missing Villaru and a Kirtley Orange already. If you look at the Storm with Evan Ruiz currently injured, uh, for example, not entirely sure what's and obviously lost to Chiba Diamond, not sure what the fitness of some of the other players are, but I think he will probably uh, start actually this weekend in in that uh, in those games. And especially if you look at the Stormers, they've been perennial bad starters in the URC on these away tours where they've picked up very, very few points and almost had to then try and catch up as the URC season, season uh, has gone on. So very important to try and get as much resources as possible into your side. Ben Jason Dixon, I think, is a very big part of that Stormers side. And work, obviously, you know, flying over separately, you know, even without the 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 prep with the team, they have obviously judged them enough, important enough to warrant the extra travel and try and get them to that side. If you look at, the, for example, the replacements, you know, you no Kenny Moody, but if you've got Lacanya um, on the bench, you've got a... You've got some Pimpy within the squad to, to cover sort of wing, and we've got options at outside centre. If you look at Jan Krobler, you've got Malcolm Marks, um, as well as Bongi Minambi, as well as Jan Hendrik Vessels if there is an injury on Friday. And if you look at Ben Jason Dixon, there's plenty of options in the, the loose trio. And Malcolm Stein, for example, not, um, not uh, involved this weekend. I'll with Luke Quackersmith on the bench. So plenty of options there. So they are the most uh, 
expendable type of players. Personally, from a Lions perspective, I'd love to send them uh, Morning from the Berg back this weekend for that Ulster game. But yeah, I mean, if you if you did have a, a player that goes down on, in the one for Saturday, for example, you'll want to have two scrubs ready to go. Let me know if you're going to think we'll see these three uh, players in the starting lineup on the bench and uh, how much value will they add to the URC sides. Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.